In this video, I'm going to be walking you through what I think in a live online game of Madden 21, why I think it, and how you can be more effective as a Madden player in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on YouTube. We post videos every single day that can help you become a better player on both sides of the ball. And so if you want to get access to those videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Now in this video, as you saw, as you see at the top right here, I think I'm playing uh, KMAC 00725. Uh, and so what we're going to be focusing in on here in these Inside the Mind gameplays is basically kind of trying to share with you, you know, again, what I'm thinking and why I'm thinking it. Now right here, I'm kind of rocky here off the start here, but we're just going to start with the flood play. Now on offense, I'm running the New York Jets gun bunch um, or the New York Jets Offensive Guide. If you want to get my full Jets Offensive Guide, it is in the description. It covers the bunch, the bunch tight end, and the trip tight end offset. One of the most, I think it's the best offense in the entire game. It's super, super hard to stop. And it's honestly super, super simple to run. Um, you could get, get the guide and learn the entire offense within one day. It's very, very simplified. Uh, I really have, I think, done a decent job at kind of whittling down what are the primary things that we need to do? What are the, what are the, what are the, the top 20% of plays that we want to call that are going to produce 80% uh, of the results. And so that's kind of the, the thought process at which I come to the table with here. So uh, anyways, if you want to get those guides, that is in the description. On defense, I'm running the 335 wide, uh, which we'll talk about that when we get on defense. But that guide is also available in the description. Now, opening up a game, what I like to do, um, and I will pretty much do this verbatim, um, unless you're playing somebody that you've played before, but basically what I like to do off rip here is I want to just consistently kind of start a game and just kind of see, um, you know, honestly, like I just want to be simple. I want to keep it simple. And so when I can force somebody, you know, I'm going to basically probably run the same play until he starts to adjust to it. So until he adjusts to it, I'm going to run this play. I'm going to run flood. I'm going to run it the simple way. I'm going to put the running back on the option route, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the running back on the option route, and I'm just going to make reads. And that's really my plan uh, going into this game. Now, as you see here, he's consistently playing man coverage, and Jair Alexander's not doing anything for him. I think he's actually shading his coverage over the top. One of the other things that most people don't really understand about the play flood is that when you do certain types of shading, it does um, it does change how the defense is going to play that. So like right here, you see, um, you know, get in the end zone there with Aaron Jones, and we're off to a really, really good start. Really couldn't have started the game better um, than that right there. Now, as you see right here, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my defense. So my defense is actually fairly simple to set up. I am running the nickel 335 wide defense. Now, I believe very similar to the gun bunch, to the bunch tight end, to the trip set and offset, to the Jets guide, the nickel 335 wide defense is the best defense in the entire game. When we talk about offense, we talk about five plays for success. That's to have a power play like the play flood. To have a counter play like to play Jets Dig, to have a constraint theory play like to play Smash Return or the play Mesh, um, to have a running uh, ability to, to run the ball, you can go to the trips tight end for that. You can also just run halfback base. And then the fifth thing is to have a you know a good short yardage or a good red zone play. Defense is actually fairly similar. And so the way that I look at it, the way that you can have a successful defense at Madden 21 is you want to have the ability to be able to stop the run, the ability to play match defense, the ability to, um, you know, obviously play zone drop style defense, the ability to blitz your opponent, and the ability um, to have very good red zone defense, short yardage defense. That's kind of the, the, the starting point for this. And so as you can see here, he's going to come to the table uh, with a little bit of I-form pro to start and just kind of trying to test our – we're in kind of our match defense. That's our power play, uh, if you will, for defense. That's our base play. That's how we like to start. I actually have a full one-hour video on that in the defensive guide about the base defense and kind of like – actually truly have ran this against so many things that I feel fairly confident that, you know, I kind of know uh, what I need to do as far as this defense goes to be successful. But really off the rip here, we're just going to kind of see what he does. does. What does his play calls look like? Is he going to, you know, kind of sit like this? Or, you know, what's he going to kind of do here? Um, and I could have had that. I should have had that. That's probably a bad user by me. Uh, but he does. He's, he is able to check down uh, to that route. 
So i4 Pro right off the bat here, and, and this is what we want to see. Anytime you're opening up a game, especially if you've never played the person before, you just kind of want to see, and there you see there's the run defense, and there's the run defense doing exactly what we wanted to do. Um, and that wasn't even the run defense. That was just the base defense. But the beauty of this is your defense, you want it to always be able to look the same. You want it to be able to, the, your pressure to look the same as your coverage, to look the same as your run defense, to look the same as your match defense. You want all five of those components to look identical. That's one of the key elements that most people don't really think about that. Um, you, you want as little or as few tells as humanly possible. All right here, another little inside zone style run. We're able to shoot it with our user, and that's gonna make him have to pass. Start at 14, um, and we'll see what we can do here. So. Again, we're just kind of setting up our, our play. And it's likely we're going to see something to um, this, this left side, a little Jet 6-7 soar. Gyre, my gyre, Alexander, picks the ball off. And let's see if we can do a little double juke back to the inside. Got a couple yards here. Now, this right here is an interesting position to be in. And, you know, honestly, where I probably struggle the most is when I get in situations like this where I have to kind of manage the game a little bit, you know, kind of like keep it simple. That's where I'm not necessarily my best. So like right here, um, I'm just going to, you know, and again, this is part of a little bit of experience, but like I know that this run right here from RPO Trap is super, super hard to stop. And so we're just going to flip this run so that we have our, our trips to the wide side of the field. And then we're basically just going to, you know, run the ball here. But um, and honestly, it's because I, I called the wrong play. I didn't call flood. So I've got to, you know, kind of waste a play here. But the point of it is, is that we're in field goal range right now. We can go up by two possessions. Two possessions is super, super important. Essentially, what we're trying to do, whatever we're in a, any kind of like serious Madden game, is we're trying to get up by three possessions. That's really the goal. Um, and so if we can consistently, you know, just kind of work the ball up the field here, even if we get stopped, what we can't do is what I did in yesterday's Inside the Buying gameplay where I threw an interception. You don't want to do that. I'd rather, you know, I'd honestly rather take a sack uh, than do that. But here, Kitty Clark is not going to be able to stop Devontae Adams. So we're going to easily just take, take that read, get the possession catch, kind of secure ourselves in field goal range. And as you see here, I mean, we're just running flood. We're, we're not doing anything. It, 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 it's so, so critical that you don't deviate because they're going to do a bunch of random stuff. And until you force them into a very specific defense, you really don't want to deviate. What you want to do is you want to keep it simple, keep it straightforward, and just because this, this is something that I am really, really, really bad about. I will deviate all day long. I will try to, you know, I will like, you know, just do random stuff that's not even worth doing right um right here base this is honestly this is just my personal opinion when you get inside like the the five yard line the base is a really really good option to go to because it's very difficult to actually shoot it it's easy to stop it for like a yard or two but it's hard to shoot it for like a loss at least in my opinion so um you know you can you can go to something like that in that situation that's where we talk about again that that fourth component to an effective offense is the ability to run the ball. Um, but as you see right here, I mean, we've literally every, with the exception of two plays, the base and the, the two running plays, we have called flood eight consecutive times. And so what it's going to start to do is it's going to start to drill into this guy's head. I have to stop flood. I have to stop flood. I have to stop flood. Okay. He's going to start to shift his defense to have to do that. Maybe he's going to drop his zones down. Maybe, you know, maybe he's going to, because he's going to have to do a bunch of stuff. He's going to have to do a bunch of stuff to stop it. He's going to have to have like a 15-yard flat zone. He's going to have to have like a five or a zero, zero yard other zone. He's going to have to have a yellow zone on that side. He's going to have to, you know, put an op, a yellow zone on the back side or something. There's so many things he's going to have to do to stop it, right? Um, you know, and so what we want to do is kind of try to force him to have to. If we don't, if we only go to the play one time, then we don't force our opponent to ever have to adjust to it. And so that's kind of the idea. Uh, same thing on defense, honestly. So like, until he really, like until he starts to find a rhythm, right? Until he starts to simplify and he starts to say, okay, I found this formula right here works against this defense, right? Until he does that, I'm gonna sit in this. I'm not gonna change it. Um, this is the three three five wide. This is the cover four quarters. This is the best defense, in my opinion, in the entire game. Uh, and the reason why it's so good is because it's just simple to run. It's you know it, it it gives up a couple little things here and there, but it's the starting point. Again, it's a starting point. We're we're trying defensively. Our goal at the end of the day is our goal is to score touchdowns. Or I, I apologize. Our our goal is to try to prevent our opponent from scoring a touchdown. 
That's it. That's our goal. We're, we're okay if he scores a field goal. We're okay if he does this or that or whatever, right? We're okay with all of those situations. That's a crazy throw by Rodgers right there. But what we don't want him to do is we just don't want him to score a touchdown, okay? So, like, right here, okay, he's been in, go he's been in doubles every single play. Um, probably going to run the ball right here. We'll see. But, uh, you know, so far, a little crossing routes, little slants. We're going to kind of jump down on that, and that should have been an interception. That's the same thing that he hit us. I, I think he hit that the first play of the drive. And that's one of those things where it's like, okay, we'll, we'll give that up. We're okay with that. Um, now we're going to do something here. We're going to go ahead and just put a little uh, little hard flat right here. Actually, we're going to man him up. We're going to man up the running back this time. And the reason why we're going to do this is because if you notice what he's doing, he's just running kind of slants here. We don't really have to worry about the slot. And there's the man up. And unfortunately, he just missed the tackle. But that's okay. So a couple quick, couple quick little reads here to the running back. And we're going to actually do that. We're going to try this. We're going to try this defense here. So it's essentially the same theory. It's just we're flipping the side of which we're doing it. Um, but I, I appreciate it. This is kind of a rhythm. This is Now we're starting to get into some stuff here. So this is good stuff. And, again, we're staying simple. We're staying, we're staying very simple. He might take this all the way down to the two-minute warning, but we want to be prepared in case he doesn't. Again, we, you know, the, the big thing that I'm concerned about is that, is that Devontae Adams right up there. Right? That's the thing. So, again, there's, in every formation, there's a problem child. In every formation, there's a problem. There's a player that causes a problem for the defense. And, and typically what people are going to do is they're going to put their best player in that position. So, like, for us, we know the problem – Right so far is is the running back or Devontae Adams. Those those are kind of the two people that are the problems, and so we just have to kind of monitor that. We have to watch this. Here, running back goes a little tight in out route, a little quick out, and so what he's doing is he's taking some kind of short out routes. And so what we can actually do is we could shift into a little bit of a different defense. This is specific for what he's doing. We're actually going to shift to it right here. Um, and the reason why we're going to shift to it is because of the amount of which he's throwing, like, super short. Um, and that was actually a really well-timed run. I thought I had it shot in the backfield, but I clicked off, unfortunately. Um, so what we're going to shift to is we're going to go with a little bit more underneath coverage here. Uh, we're not Mabel on any side here, but we've got really good underneath, and that's what we're looking at right there. So trying to get really underneath coverage. Now we're getting into this like realm here where this underneath is starting to – you're going to see um, this is going to catch up to him just like it's going to catch up to me. So uh, now we're in a position where we can't really afford well, – let's see if we'll throw it, and he will. Okay. I, didn't, I just didn't think he'd throw that. Good read by him. We're going to take a timeout right there. And the reason why is we just want to give ourselves an opportunity. If we can get a field goal, we can get a field goal. Um, remember, we're up we're up a possession. So we, we have a two-possession lead. He does get ball going on half. So if he scores a touchdown here and gets the ball half, so it would be huge for us to get three points is what I'm getting at. Um, so right here he's going to go to iPro. We're going to go down. We'll stop and we'll call time, another timeout. Now I don't like our I didn't like our defense there. Um, I didn't like my adjustments. Now due to the fact that we're on the red zone, we don't really have to. Um, we we don't really have to like worry about the fact that he could um, like pass right. He's probably gonna run here, so we're just gonna go right into the three three five wide. And we're going to go right in here. And we're going to try to shoot this with our user. A little toss. And that's huge. That's a huge. See, that's exactly what we wanted. And that right there is part of the reason we called the timeout. So now he's in the third down. It's third down 11. He pretty much has to throw the ball. Um, that's pretty much what he has to do. Now, if you remember what he was trying to hit, is he was trying to hit a very specific type of route. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 25. We're going to go 5 or 15. And we're going to go 5. Uh, we're actually, ah, uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Um, we have to go off sides. We have to go off sides. Gosh dang it, that's frustrating. Okay, so, um, okay, so we're second and six. We're going to stick with that. Gosh dang it, we're going to get caught again, man. We're going to move these down to 20, and we're going to move these down to 10. But essentially what we're going to do
We're going to see here if he does try to run the ball. He probably will. He probably will run like a one trap. He's probably scared. Um, short side. Would he run a slant? Oh, he threw it right at my user. Dang it. Oh, he threw it right at my user. Man, good read. Good read. That's that's okay. That's okay. That's a good read. All right, so we're going to reset everything. Uh, we probably should have stuck with the match, honestly. And he's going to go for two. Wow, this guy's bold. Um... So he's going to go for two. Let's go cover two, man. He might try to pass. And this is the part of the, like, this is one of the elements of, like, this will happen sometimes to me, and I don't know why this happens, but basically what's happened here is my my guy completely, for, my, my uh, game literally will freeze if I make too many adjustments, and so I was trying to make so many adjustments, and the game froze, so... Is what it is. He ends up getting. I mean, it's basically the perfect situation for him. He gets a touchdown. He gets a two-point conversion. He gets me with no timeouts. Like you know, but you know, it was kind of one of those things where it's like I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with that. We played solid defense. We were right there to make a play. We just didn't hit triangle. Like we just we just didn't hit triangle. That's at the end of the day, um, what happens. So, so anyway, I'm trying to get out of there. So we got about 15 seconds, and in this situation, this is kind of one of those like it's a situational play call. So, you know, these are things that you know you build this into your into your into your um, scheme for certain situations. So, like 15 seconds, we need to get the ball. You know, you know, we need to get the ball to a certain point. So this is where it's like almost automatic that we're going to have to go to boot over, um, like almost automatic, just because we need so many yards, right? So we just we just practically we just need the yards. So we're going to see what he does here. And I think we got him. And Devontae Adams just made a, an amazing, amazing catch. And, I mean, his user was there, but it's like one of those things where it's like we have to throw it because we don't have any other thing to do. I mean, we could throw the ball away. But it's one of those things where it's like you either, you know, you either make the throw or you don't. So we're able to, able to make the throw. He had to have known it was coming too. I mean, he's running right at the route. But able to get a big play here. And hopefully we can make the kick. He's off sides. He's off sides. Perfect. That's actually perfect for us. That's actually perfect for us because it makes it easier to kick. And it takes it takes us some seconds off the clock here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to decline this. We know we've made it. Um, I don't want them to, like, quit out of the game or anything. So we're going to go ahead and just, like, you know, we're just gonna, you know, go ahead and, and kick it off deep. So what I like to do towards the end of half, like if I want to try to run off some time here, I'm gonna do a little short kick. Obviously he could like, you know, fair catch it or whatever. But see, like that's a big mistake. And then we get the ball back. Can we score? Scoop and score. Mercedes Lewis scooped and scored on Mercedes Lewis, and that's huge. That's like a game changer. He's probably gonna quit out of that. Um, that's like little mistakes. Give them an opportunity to make a mistake. Give your opponent an opportunity to make a mistake. He made a mistake, and that's going to be huge. I mean, that puts us up by, that puts us up, I think, by, does that, six? It puts up by 16. So, you know, we're not up by three possessions, but we're darn close. And he got, he does get balled half, though. So we'll see what he does coming out of half. If I would, you know, if I was betting, um, I would, Totally anticipate we're going to see that doubles offset that he was running. He was doing a really good job with that. I mean, he's got some he threw some slant routes, threw some out routes to the running back, you know. But but he had to drive. He had to drive the ball down the field. That's that's what we want. That's that's what we want. So we're going to make sure our zone drops are good. You always want to do that um, before you go. Let's see if he is going to go ahead and quit out. Probably is. I was hoping he'd finish this out because um, he actually had a, a decent drive, but he is going to go ahead and concede. So thank you for watching this video. That's, again, you know, you give your opponent an opportunity to make the mistakes. A lot of times they will. My full offensive guide is in the description, and then the exact defense that I use is also in the description as well. Uh, the 335 wide defense and the Jets gun bunch, bunch tight end. You saw the bunch tight end come up with a crucial dot for me down the, down the uh, stretch there on the half. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to get my guides, they are available in the description.